I suppose you're the new security guard? Well, if you are, then welcome aboard. I'm going to be leaving a message for you to help you get settled in on your new job and what to expect. Um, I'm actually finishing up my night shift this week and I'll be switched over to the day shift. So I guess you applied at the right time. <laughs> you don't have any idea how much trouble these past few weeks has been for the company. Ever since those five kids went missing around here the other week, we don't know whatever happened to them. We're currently under an investigation. The parents are suspecting us for some reason, and I don't know why, as we do have a policy that clearly says Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovery of damage or if death has occurred, a missing person's report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpet have been replaced and all that other stuff. Okay, I'm going on too much about the current state and policies. Let's get back on track. Anyways, as you probably know already, you'll be monitoring the building from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. to ensure the safety of all property and equipment, as well as keeping an eye on the animatronic characters. What I mean by that is, for some reason, the characters tend to roam freely after hours. We don't know what's causing this glitch, but the engineers say that it's sometimes the result of them being turned off for too long, as they are programmed to roam around freely during the day, which I think is a technical achievement in today's robotics. Anyways, make sure that they don't get too close to your office, because if they see you, they might mistake you for an endoskeleton without its costume on, and will try to stuff you into one. Now you're probably asking, how can be stuffed into a costume be bad? Well, you see, those costumes aren't like mascot, walk around, and instead are the ones that the animatronics wear. And they are filled with eternal structures and devices. So being shoved into all of that would not only be extremely painful, but would instantly kill you. That's why you have doors by your vents. Shut them if anything is in there, and only if absolutely necessary. Using the doors, lights, and cameras drain power, and using them too much will reserve the entire building to go dark, leaving you vulnerable to the animatronics. So don't leave the doors shut. If an animatronic does somehow end up in your office, I have a small trick for that, which is hiding under the desk. This will fool them into thinking that you're not in the office and will eventually leave, but be quick about it. You may only have a few seconds to react. It might also not work with certain animatronics, so keeping them away is recommended. It is also important for you to use your vent lights. There are blind spots in the camera views, so if you can't find someone on your cameras, be sure to check the lights, okay? Okay, that should be everything now. And before I go, I am required to greet you with the company's label. <clears throat> Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Good night. And I'll chat with you tomorrow.